Did someone say catfish? Yeah, that's me. You get it? Catfish? That is right. Catfish merch is out right now. The first ever piece of catfish clothing. Available now at catfishclothing.co.uk. There is literally 10 days left until this hoodie is gone forever. So if you want to be part of history and get the first ever catfish hoodie, make sure you get it before it's gone. You've got 10 days left. If you want one, catfishclothing.co.uk. Link in the description. But yeah, on to today's video. Today's video is going to be an interesting one. It's something very different to anything I've done on this channel before. Now, some of you may know, one year ago on my main channel, I did a video called I got my ear pierced at the worst reviewed piercing shop in my city, one star rated. And as you can see, it's pierced. It's still pierced. So I did a video on that, documenting my experience getting my ears pierced there. However, I also last year got my nose pierced at the worst piercing shop in London. Now I did film this and I have got all the footage. However, I've never really put it into a video. And that's because I didn't know. I did no research into this and I realized after how bad it was. I mean, it's like I just don't care about my own health. So yeah, today I'm going to show you the full footage of me getting my nose pierced at the worst place in London and why it was so bad. It did not go well. It didn't go well at all. But first, let's have a look what the top comment was last week. 246 likes. His American accent is pretty good. So what if George is catfishing us about being British? What? At me? Catfishing you guys about being British? I'm joking. Obviously, I'm British. Or am I? <laughs> also, quickly, before we get into the video, look what arrived. It's the Shrek lamp. Shrek lamp, Shrek lamp, Shrek lamp. Here is Shrek. I mean, it is Shrek. And the moment of truth be lit. Shrek lamp! I mean, you can't really tell it's Shrek, but you and I both know it's Shrek. But yeah, on today's video, so as you can see, I've currently got my nose pierced and my ear pierced. I got my ear pierced in February 2019, so that's been like a year and a half. And I got my nose pierced in October 2019, so it's nearly been a year next month. I'm not going to name the company because they are like a small independent business. And I'm not trying to ruin anyone's business. However, when your business is literally stabbing someone's face, if you're not doing it properly, you need to be exposed. So when I got my ear pierced at Claire's, the reviews were awful. They were literally one star and they were like, don't go here. And they were mainly because they use a pierced piercing gun which is like a little gun and they literally just shoot the thing through your ear which apparently is bad for your ear because it's like a lot of force pressure through it's best if you get a needle because then it's like slow pressure I, I don't really know so I mean yeah it was a very pink shop I was very out of place but when I sat down to get it done as you can see here they explained everything to me they showed me all of the different piercings and look here's the gun they use they basically get that and they attach it to a gun and then they just shoot it through your ear so they showed me that they let me look at that for a bit to make sure I was all comfortable then I had to sign some papers which which is quite an important thing. I literally had to sign papers to be like, yes, I approved this person to pierce my ear. So health and safety wise, it was pretty safe. She washed her hands, she wore gloves, she drew a dot on so I could see where it was gonna be. And then she shot it through my ear, as you can see. And there it is. And honestly, the ear piercing was completely fine. I kept this original stud in for like three months and then I changed it to one of these hoops. However, the hoop I got was from ASOS. Yeah, I just make really bad decisions when it comes to piercings. So I got an earring from ASOS, but it was like a really cheap one. I, li I think I literally paid like five pound for it. and. Uh, it went green. Yeah, it was gold and it turned green in my ear and uh, my ear swelled up. Wait, have I got any photos? It literally, you can see this is the gold bit and then the rest just went green. This used to all be gold. It was really bad and it infected my ear. But to be fair, that was my fault. <laughs> I bought a cheap earring. However, I then changed that to this one, which is actual gold. Not to flex on you guys, but you know, I wear gold earrings. But as I said, that's not Claire's fault. That was my fault because I bought that from ASOS. I didn't buy that from Claire's. The one Claire's gave me was fine. So yeah, Claire's, they weren't the best. However, it was quite a professional experience. Even though they pierced it with a gun, it felt safe, it felt clean. However, when I got my nose pierced, it was a different story. So I got my nose pierced at this like independent little shop. And the reason I went to this shop was because I wanted to get a hoop straight away. However, you're not really allowed to get a hoop straight away. Usually when you get your nose pierced, you have to get one of these like a stud. But once again, me being me, I didn't want to wait because when you get a stud, you have to leave that in for three months and then you can then change it to a hoop. But as I said, me being me, I wanted to cheat the system. So I phoned around all the different places. I was like, can you give me a hoop straight away? They were like, no, we can't do that. I phoned another one. They were like, no, we can't do that. It's not allowed. However, this one was like, yeah, I'll do that. Which straight away should have been a red flag. Let's see what Google says. Should you get a nose ring straight away? Can my nostril be pierced with a hoop rather than a stud? Technically, yes, it can. It can. Trust me, I did it. Should you pierce it with a hoop? No. Since it turns and is bigger, you risk trauma with it turning. Getting bumped more, getting pulled, all of which pulls debris in, causing tearing, swelling, potential infections, and delayed healing. And 
I can vouch for all of them things. Honestly, it was a terrible choice I made. However, it wasn't just that. It was a whole experience. My friend Daniel that came along with me to help film it, he actually got his ear pierced that same day and he got it done before me. And literally when I say to you, it was so unprofessional. This, I'm not joking. I literally had footage of this, but I deleted the footage. So the guy goes, okay, let's do the ear pierce first and we'll do the nose. But literally he just goes, boom, boom. There was no paper signed. I was like, wait, is that it? I literally go to Daniel, look, you can look in the mirror now at your earring. Cause I don't think the guy even showed him. He literally just went, boom, boom. Okay, let's go on to the next one. And then look, listen to what I say. That's awkward. There was no paper sign, nothing. It was just boom, boom. Which again, should have been another red flag. Oh, I've also just remembered. He then was like to me, okay, um, do you want me to pierce your nose with a gun? I was like, no. Piercing guns aren't strong enough to properly pierce your nostril. If your piercer wants to pierce your nostril using a piercing gun, consider looking for another piercer or facility. Which is what I should have done when he said that. But you know, I just ignored the red flags because I wanted a nose ring. I mean, I'm blaming this place, but really I walked into the trap. So anyway, let me show you the footage of when I got my nose pierced. So look at this. So I went in, I had a look at the different things. I didn't really know what I wanted. All I knew is that I wanted a gold hoop. So he suggested this one, which I thought, you know what? It's a gold hoop. That's what I want. That's fine. So literally then look, this is completely unedited. I then looked at it on my nose. I just put it next to my nose to see how it looked. It looked fine. So then we went to the piercing room. As you can see, I was nervous. There was no paper signed, as you can see. I just sat there and the guy sort of prepared everything. But let's watch the whole thing. So he was wearing gloves and he did clean my nose. So there's points of hygiene. He then drew a dot on my nose, which again, fair, fair play. That's what you're supposed to do. He then showed me it. I was like, okay, cool. That looks fine. And now here comes the interesting bit. So he got this needle, which is this. He then put his finger in my nostril, which is a bit weird. And then basically just stabbed me. Look at that. He, he just put it straight through my nostril. This hurt so bad. Look at my face. I was in pain. And he also did this so slowly. Literally, look. This is where he starts pushing. He starts pushing here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 12 seconds to go through. He was literally pushing this thing through my nose for 12 seconds. Look at my face, this hurt so bad. Look at me, I was crying. I mean, I wasn't actually crying because you know, <clears throat> I'm a guy, I don't cry. It was just tears because your nose has some sort of sensory reaction thing. I don't know, it happens to everyone, okay? I wasn't crying, but my eyes were watering. Literally, it hurt real bad. Literally, look at me, I was in shock. I'd just been stabbed in the nose. My eyes were watering, my nose was watering. I was in pain. So he then attached the hoop to the rest of this like needle thing that's been put through my nose. So as you can see, he's put the hoop on. Oh, this is the bad bit, this is the bad bit. So he's now got the hoop on the end, and the plan is you pull the plastic bit through and the hoop comes with it, and you've got the hoop in your nose. However, watch what he does. He pulls the plastic through and lets go of the hoop, and and then there's nothing now in my nose. I've now just got a hole in my nose with no hoop in it and no plastic bit. He's realized, oh no, I've not got the hoop through. So he pulls the hoop away and then pushes this plastic thing back through my nose, but the wrong way. So he pushed it through this way, pushed it all the way through too far, and then pushed it back through the other way. Literally, look at this. He pulls it through and then he pushes it back through. Do you know how bad this hurt? I was already crying. This made it 10 times worse. So he then reattaches it and then tries to pull it through again, which luckily it actually works this time. Look at my face. This hurts so bad. Look at that. Oh my gosh, it's just so bad. Oh, look at me. I literally go, it was an experience to say the least. He then goes in again and just messes around with it more. Look at me, I, I literally go, bruh, it hurts so bad. And that's it, we then go downstairs and I remember literally I could feel blood dripping out of the piercing and the guy didn't give me any tissues. So yeah, that was my experience getting my nose pierced at the worst place. The aftermath of having the nose ring was so bad, literally. I put it down to the amount of trauma my nose went through in that. But literally I would get these massive like keloid bump things above the piercing. I'm not gonna show you because they're just gross. It basically it just looks like a massive spot above the piercing. And I was like, I'm sure it's fine, it'll go away. I left it in for about a month and I was like, this isn't gonna go away. So then it got changed to this. And I got it changed to this in November. So it's been about 10 months since I got it changed to this. I start to every night clean it with like salt water and stuff like that because if I don't, it gets infected really easily. I hope in the next couple of months I will be able to change this to a hoop again. When I got it changed to this, I didn't go back to the same place obviously because I never want to go back to that place. So I went to a different piercing shop and I went in and I was like, blah, 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 it's infected. They were like, oh yeah, we can see. 
see. He also said the hoop the guy did it with was so thin. He said it was ridiculously thin to be like a first piercing. So another thing he did wrong, he gave me a hoop that was too thin. So yeah, honestly, in summary, if you're gonna get a piercing, do it properly. Don't do it like me. Go to a well-rated place and don't try and take shortcuts. Trust me, they don't end up any shorter. A friend of mine actually got their nose pierced on exactly the same day as me, somewhere else, and they got a stud. And I was like, ha ha, loser, I'm not getting a stud. I'm going straight for a hoop. And now 12 months later, they've got a hoop and I've got a stud. So yeah, that was my experience getting my nose pierced at the worst rated place in my city. It literally made Claire's look good, which says a lot. Luckily, I said no to him piercing my nose with a gun, because if he did that, I may not have a nose right now. But yeah, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you did enjoy. Let me know what you thought about this time of video. I know something's a bit different, more of a story time sort of thing. Let me know if you guys got any piercings and what your experience was with them. If they were any worse than this, I don't think you could get any worse than this. Also, guys, don't forget, catfish clothing out right now. 10 days left, so make sure you go get yourself one. Don't miss out. Get yourself catfish hoodie before they're gone forever. Yeah, guys, it's been George Mason TV. If you haven't enjoyed, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's been George Mason over and out.